in this day. Tis well. I'll have you speak out of the rest of this soon. Good, my lord. Will you see the players hold the stone? Do here, let them be well used, for they are the abstract and brief chronicles of the time. After your death, you are better have had a epitaph than their ill report while you live. What is he saying there? That the players have tremendous power over the views of the public, yes. and that their opinion of you now is more important than your lasting legacy. Exactly. And I think that is really brilliant on his part, that he uses this opportunity to make a contemporary commentary. That theater was so important in his day that it would chronicle the time. When you read his soliloquy, and as we're reading, look for his emotional state, because in the soliloquies we are always going to see Hamlet's true emotional state. Remember that he's staying in badness, when he talks to other characters, depending on who he trusts and not trusts, he will present himself in ways that serve his purpose. But in the soliloquies, we get to see his true character, his true emotional state. And ultimately, when we are deciding, is he insane? Has he gone over the edge? We have to go back to the soliloquies to see, for sure, what's his emotional state. Okay? Now I am alone. Oh. What a rogue and peasant slave am I. Is it not monstrous that this player here, but in a fiction, in a dream of passion, forced the soul so to his own conceit that from her working all his visible pain, tears in his eyes, distraction in his aspect, a broken voice in his whole function, suiting the form to his conceit, and all for nothing, for Hecuba. What's Hecuba to him, or he to Hecuba, that he should weep for her? What would he do had he the motive and the cue for passion that I have? He would drown the state with tears and cleave the general air with hard speech, make Matthew guilty and appalled free, confound the ignorant and amaze indeed the very faculties of eyes and ears. I, a dull and muddy metal rascal, repeat that John Train is unfriendly of my cause, and can say nothing. No, not for a pain upon his property and most dear life that damn to defeat his name. Am I a coward? Who calls me villain? I break to my pain across. Puts off my beard and blows it in my face, tweaks me by the nose, gives me the lie in the throat as deep as in the lungs. Yes. What does he say? What does he say about that actor compared to himself? Either one. Uh, um, he's saying that the actor showing more emotion about someone he doesn't even care about, more so than he is, but he has actual reason to be taking action and showing some sort of real emotion, and he's not. So he's kind of condemning himself for what it is, and then he's a coward. Because someone with such little reason to show emotion is actually doing something. Exactly. What's Hecuba to him? Nothing. Nothing. And yet he can muster all this passion about something that is completely fictional. And here he is, his father's been murdered, and he cannot pull up the same kind of emotion that this actor can on the stage. And so he's beating himself up. What does he say? Am I a coward? And Hamlet's going to be going to ask himself that several times throughout the rest of the play. What is wrong with me? Is what he's trying to say. Am I a coward? Why can I not act? Am I pigeon livered and that all? Is he? To some degree. If we're only that simple. He's too much praise and out of he Say that one more time. We project that. He has too much brains in the heart. Because him and Claudius, mm -hmm. they think everything out. They scheme and manipulate. It's not like Claudius murdered the king by like, stabbing him in the back all the times. He put poison in his ear to make it look like it was a natural death. So the same with Hamlet, rather than like come in like Laertes and storm the castle and try to take the throne, he's slowly trying to plot a way to suffer and kill the king. And he's also having a battle with himself because, of course, he's Christian and he doesn't want to commit murder. So he's got all these things going on in his head, and he's not just letting himself break free and just get it done. Excellent. Job. Only it were just the case that he were a coward. But not. There is so much that Hamlet is dealing with. And that makes this play so important and so worthy of discussion because the answers are not easy for us in examining his character. Learn? I was going to say that he like, 
face and he schemes, he schemes and then he thinks himself out of it as well because he looks at both sides of his actions and he would like the whole how he was going to kill Claudius but he was like I can't do that because he's praying so he's praying and he'll go straight to heaven and so he thinks about it I think the heart I think he does have heart though like he is there because like for his father but he just overthinks to the point where he can't commit any kind of bad Yes, and I agree, Lauren. I think um, in this case, I don't think we can dismiss the fact that he is so emotionally overwrought. And so there is great part here, as we said, he has his father on this unrealistic pedestal. He is the sun guy, after all. Wait a minute, what do you You have bestowed ourselves. Read on this book. That shows such exercise may color your loneliness. We are off to blame in this we are often, we are, we are often blaming this to too much proved that the devotion's visage and pious action will use sugar or the devil himself. Now that's a really important line. We are off to blame in this. It is too much proved that with devotion's visage and pious action we do sugar or the devil himself. What's going to say? Maybe, many ideas. That they're like they're covering up their sin. And in, in the, the footnotes, it says that the book that she's reading is really like a Bible or a prayer book. So they're covering up their not so noble motives with kind of a holy facade. Good job. Okay, and then the king says in the side. He says, Oh, tis too true. How smart a lash that speech doth give my conscience. The harlot's cheap beauty of the classroom art is not more ugly to the thing that helps it than is my deed to the most oh, heavy burden. Oh, heavy burden. What has he just admitted? Yes. How do we know that, Jordan? Because he feels um, guilt when 